we made it into Mexico. Easy peasy. Luckily, the immigration officer was also able to do our temporary import permit. So we got all of that done because we had our photocopies with us. Nobody asked a single thing about Moxie. And now we are on our way to Rosarito Beach area. And then we will continue south tomorrow. And if you actually look, there's like a whole fire happening right here. Saddle up. Beyond the stars, out where the sun sets, we'll find the light. We'll keep it our secret home. Anywhere you want to go. Hi guys, and welcome to Go Roughly Around the World. Greg and I are riding around the world with our German Shepherd Moxie on the back of my motorcycle in her K9 Moto cockpit to raise $100,000 for the nonprofit Girl Up. We started the adventure on March 5th, 2022 from Guatemala, and we made our way up to the Arctic Ocean. Now we're on our way down south to the Antarctic. So in the last episode, we finally made it into Baja, California. We're uh, exploring the northern bits of Baja, and then we made it up to Julian, California for the Bonnier ADV camp and rally. And that's where we're picking up here. So we're gonna meet a bunch of great people at the rally, and then we really head south and dig into Baja. Some sand riding, some adventures, and ultimately a really lame ass tip over when I am trying to explain to Jessica how she should ride the sand, and then at going zero miles per hour, I basically flop over. <laughs> so stick around for that. We arrived at the ADV rally a little bit late, but it turns out that this morning it was raining until like 10 o'clock. So we didn't miss out on too much. Guys have already gone out to do the photos of the places of interest that they need to do because it's a whole competition. And we are now in the camping area and getting our stuff set up. The event was really great. Like we got to meet with Ian from Big Rock Moto and had a nice chat with him about his new Touareg. And, and we also got to see Long Haul Paul again uh, at the Yamaha booth and see what he's been up to. We just spent some time packing up all of our stuff because we had duplicates because we had some new stuff shipped in. So now we've got like double sleeping bags and double tents and all of that. So we've rearranged it so that we can ship the old stuff back and continue on with the new stuff. So now we're packed, we're ready to go. We're gonna go and do a few dirt trails and we're gonna also go to the UPS store and drop the stuff off so we can send it back to LA. So now we're gonna head back down south. We're gonna go across the border back into Mexico um, and back to uh, Baja. Let's go in. In the <laughs> We've been here for about a month and uh, it has been uh, really good for us because we got a lot of work done, but we are ready to move on. That's what we're doing today. Moxie Dumper is going to her new home, which is likely going to be a auction house. I don't know if they'll put her back together and then somebody will buy her or if they'll scrap her. I did donate her to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, so they are coming to pick her up right now. So Miguel, he is also a rider and he is a GS rider and he is a Triumph. And part of what I was giving away on the donation for the bike was we had the old SW Motec rack because I had the Gibby rack now on my new bike. So he was looking all over for one. He actually had one fabricated because he also has SW Motec cases. So he was able to take it. And so now he is going to take that for himself. 
it's a bit bittersweet to say goodbye to Moxie Dumper. She has gotten me at least up to here. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's just sad to see her go, but I know that she's going to go for a good cause, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm glad that I was able to donate her and that they accepted her after I've taken all the parts off of her. But there she is, and there she goes. To support the Go Roughly Around the World adventure, visit GoRoughly.com to purchase outdoor gear for you and your dog. It's ethically made, looks amazing, and holds up to all the abuse that Moxie gives it during our adventures. Use coupon code GORUFFLY20 for 20% off your purchase. Thanks so much, and now back to the adventure. We're finally heading off from LA. We were in Baja for a little bit. We came back up to LA so that we could get everything organized and, and pick up some new gear. And now we are finally heading south. So we're gonna cross the border today at Tijuana, and then uh, we will start heading down the Pacific coast of Baja. And there are many new features going on as far as our equipment and outfit and everything and we will get to those over time. But the key new feature that cannot wait any longer is the Moxie Cam. Is it flashing? No. Yeah. Flashing means it's recording, right? Yes. Yeah, she does not <laughs> like the vibration. Now yeah. it's on. Okay. Okay. Well. This is for a 22 minute ride. <laughs> Where can you see it? I can't. I was just oh, looking yeah. to see in the mirror if it actually oh. was doing anything. Is it tilted low, but I can't tilt, tilt it any higher. Won't tilt, it won't any, tilt higher? any higher? No, it won't. No, because no, it's stuck there. So we might have to flip it. Okay. okay. Can you see okay? Yeah, I can see fine. We're here at Tailwaggers in Larchmont Village. We basically just rode 20 minutes out from LA to get here on our way down south to Mexico. And we're here to drop off some book bag holders. We have three locations, one on Bronson and Franklin, uh -huh. West Hollywood on Fairfax and Waring, and here at Larchmont Village. Awesome. And today it looks like you guys have like an adoption day, yeah? We sure do. Uh, we have Samson Sanctuary here, and tomorrow we have LA Animal Rescue. Cool. So Brian at Tailwaggers, he's been carrying our products, so if you are looking for some of our gear, you can come out to their store as well and see it in person. We made it into Mexico. Easy peasy. Luckily, the immigration officer was also able to do our temporary import permit. So we got all of that done because we had our photocopies with us. Nobody asked a single thing about Moxie, except the guy who was doing my passport. He asked me if we were riding motorcycles. And I said, yes. And I said, I actually ride with my dog. He's like, oh, I also have a, a German Shepherd at home. So he was very friendly in the end. And now we are on our way to Rosarito Beach area. We were gonna go a lot further, but this day just turned into one of those days. So we're gonna go and stay at a place in Rosarito, and then we will continue south tomorrow. And if you actually look, there's like a whole fire happening right here. So we decided to splurge for this beautiful accommodation, which is in uh, Rosarito Beach. We didn't get as far as we wanted to, and so we bailed out to a flea bag motel. Emphasis on the flea and emphasis on the bag. Hopefully no emphasis on the bed bugs. And this morning it's starting to drizzle a little bit. I think that storm front that's coming in through the Pacific that's hitting uh, uh, LA and everything else is also coming down here. So we need to try and get over towards San Felipe sooner rather than later because the rain is not there yet. Onward. I can show you how I found this groove. <laughs> Oh, 
sort of like when you used to make a pillow fort. <laughs> There's a lift. No, no. What about a moto fort? We brought them under the passageway, out of the rain. That's probably as far as I'm going. And in the process, completely fortified with our motorbikes. She might need help. San Felipe Salt. We're here looking at all of these salt pools that have been created. There are these piles and piles of salt that they're collecting. And it's a pretty lucrative business when you when you actually look at the figures. But we're here with Christian and we're, we're going around on the bikes to check out what this is all about. The well are right here. Yeah, and they're drilling. But those well are created by the sea and by the mountain. From 100% of the salt, only 5% is dedicated to human consuming. All the rest go for farming food and a little bit of dog food and stuff like that too. So it's mostly the prime business of this mine. And uh, one guy do construction block of salt as well. Right now, we're on the right, right of our lives, off the ground. We're on the rise, stars in the rise. Broken like the seatbelts, we about to free fall. Hanging out the window, what you think of me now? Normally when we're stopped for our working days, we pick places where we know that we can just sort of hunker down and get work done. But this time I was actually looking online and I saw that CNG Glamping had some really unique types of stays. So I reached out to Christian and asked him if we could trade our motorcycles for a bus, at least for a few days. You fill it with your clothes and with the laundry detergent and you can agitate this. Is this as effective as a washing machine? Absolutely not. So I'm Gabby, Gabriela, and I'm from Mexico City but I live here in San Felipe, Baja California. Here in Baja they have cheeses, they have like local cheeses. So we started bringing them here because there wasn't really like a cheese shop or like a delicatessen mm -hmm. shop. Like I bring quite a diversity of cheeses from all over Mexico. Some are imported, some are artisanal from the mainland. We're heading off today from San Felipe and we're heading to the Valle de los Gigantes, which are these giant cactuses. And then it is a night of camping. We've been having uh, some cold rainy weather, but today it's medium, but it's warm. So I'm gonna really look forward to camping on the beach tonight. Mm -hmm. So in 2007, the road was until that three there, and then a big wash came and just whoosh, take everything away. But the cactus, not even one cactus get washed, so that was very impressive. Uh, those cactus are between 1,000 to 1,500 years old. Before, it was actually a lake, and that lake sunk and then make a well, and that well uh, touched the water of the sea because it's only four kilometers away. So with the mineral and all that, that make the cactus grow uh, that size only on that part of the well.
within two kilometer you change three or four times of biosphere so you have like different type of cactus down there you have different type of cactus by the rocky spot you got uh, uh, like a desert tundra in the back there all that in the same area so for a photographer it, it's epic uh -huh. to know if the cacti is drinkable you need to have five doblado so this one have six so it's not drinkable so you will have to cut it and if it's like a star it will be drinkable but it's not gonna be like the cartoon you drink it you cut it you bring it to a fire you eat it up you know and then squeeze it and then one meter of cacti give you one cup Easy, you know, but uh, you know when I when I start to get a little little sweet. Yeah, I'm tipped all the way over. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Go Roughly Around the World is a $100,000 fundraiser for the nonprofit Girl Up. So we've been on the road for about a year and we've raised almost $14,000. So thank you to everybody who has donated. If you haven't donated, head on over to GoRoughly.com. There's a Donate Now button. 100% of it goes directly to Girl Up and it's also tax deductible in the US. If you love what we're doing, then head on over to Patreon. That's where we share tips and tricks, we go behind the scenes for each episode, and it really lets you dive deeper into the adventure with us. On this week's Behind the Scenes, we're going to be talking a little bit about social media and the balancing act between being a content creator and really having the adventure that you want. Sort of like how we're doing it right now out here with construction happening right over there. <laughs> But thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and at GoRoughly for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on over on Patreon. One, two, three, four. Down. Some boot bag holders uh, for the Larchmont Village uh, location. Why can't I figure out what they're called? Say hi to the camera. Emphasis on the flea bag and emphasis on the bag. Nothing, everybody. Oh, yeah, well, no, we don't need to mount. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to mount. Uh, well, I love cheese, of course. I feel like I'm a little longer. So, <laughs> I'm the longer of town. So, the mountain kind of creates like those uh, water river, and then uh, that may have. Let me start here. Yeah.